Let's take a look at an example where we work with the cosine function. Determine the equation of the graph below, y is equal to cos of bx plus q. So the b value influences the period of the graph, and the q value influences the vertical shift of the graph. So we are looking here at a graph that has had its period changed and that has been shifted vertically. Let's deal with the vertical shift first. The standard cos graph usually has its range from 1 to negative 1. This graph has its range from 0 to negative 2. So we have shifted the graph one unit down. So we are looking at the graph y is equal to cos bx minus 1. Now the b value affects the period of the graph. And the period of the graph is 360 degrees, because this is a cos graph, the standard cos graph has a period of 360 degrees, and if we are introducing a b value, if we want to find the new period, we would take 360 degrees and divide it by b. So let's take a look at this graph and see how many degrees it takes for the graph to make one full cycle of itself. So to get from 0 degrees, that's the starting point, to get back to exactly the same point before another cycle begins is 180 degrees. So what do we divide 360 by to give us 180? We divide it by 2. So this graph is going to be the cos of 2x minus 1.